your show is stinking, and you are the one that's running, out, running everybody off. That's bottom line. And by the way, that's why I didn't call your damn, come to your damn party 20 years ago, because I didn't want to see you. That's bottom line fact. Bye. Okay, we, uh, we are now confirming, uh, the Feinbaum Show is confirming what we reported earlier. <laughs> Jim uh, has quit the show again. He has set the record for most times to quit the show. Nobody cares if Jim quits or not. I mean, I'm, I'm glad John, Johnny beat that beat down he put on Jim yesterday. Jim just happened to take it. You, you know, Joe, you know, I, I, I don't mind Jim quitting. Uh, what, I, what, what, what upsets me, and I don't know if you agree with me or not, is I, I hate to see a guy, I hate to see a champion go leave like that. Because, I mean, Johnny... I mean, it, it was truly an epic beat down, and that's not how I saw Jim leaving the show. That's the shortest quit time of any quitter ever quit. I mean, he is the auctioneer of quit. Like, you know, you can't even keep up with what he's saying. He's quit more times. He quit somebody more times than Tom Brady, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> more than Lewis Gunner. What is this? He's time for the Elton John, man. This dude done had so many uh, return trips. It's crazy, man. And, Jimmy, I'm not what I appear to be. Beneath this mask, I am wearing a frown because I am a clown. My tears are falling like rain from the sky. And that's what he is. But have you noticed that the temper from... John from St. Louis and Jim from Tuscaloosa are about the same. Are they kin to anybody around? Or are they are they distant kin folks? Because they sure get triggered very easily. And Jim quit again. I can't imagine. I hate to hear that, Paul. That's, I mean, your, that's your boy. Why, 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 do you, why do you do this? I mean, well, I didn't. I didn't do anything. So Apparently, uh, he couldn't handle the humiliation of uh, what happened with JB, uh, with Johnny B, and it just came undone. Well, I, I will have to give Johnny B uh, a hell of a pat on the back. That was a good call for the first time for you like that, especially with a heavyweight match. Like you. If you can get me there, I got you covered, brother. Might need it in Tuscaloosa the next time I go after that gym call. Yeah, I'll wear my Tennessee hat. I'll take care of you. Okay, you got it. I promise you. I'll be decked out in full orange. They can bring it on, baby.